Dear members of the UBC community, this November, I'd like to invite you to join me in participating in Thrive Month. Mental health is a year-round pursuit, but in November, we come together as a UBC community to talk about and explore ways to support and maintain mental health. Whether you're a first year or graduate student, a postdoc, a faculty member or staff member, caring for your mental health plays a crucial role in your ability to live, work, and learn well at home or on campus. Developing the mental health literacy skills you need to thrive can help you manage life's ups and downs. Mental health is a continuum, and we're all at different places. Your feelings are valid and deserve to be listened to, whether that's listening to yourself and recognizing something that's just not quite right, or reaching out and asking someone you trust for help. Be compassionate with yourself and with others. It's okay, and it's important to ask for help when you feel you need it. I encourage you to explore thrive.ubc.ca to learn more about available resources, tools, and workshops for students, faculty, and staff. I know firsthand the difficulty of dealing with mental health issues and how important it is to understand when you need help and to feel empowered to ask for it. You don't need to feel alone or be afraid to ask for help. By working together to create a supportive and stigma-free campus, providing opportunities to develop mental health literacy, recognizing diverse experiences of mental health, and ensuring that we all have the resources that we need to develop resilience, we can learn to take care of ourselves and each other. So this Thrive Month, I encourage you to take the time to learn and explore the things that help promote your mental health and to remember that this can look different for everyone. The Thrive 5 Plus are small steps that you can integrate into your day, like moving more, eating well, connecting with others, getting enough rest, or volunteering your time, all to support yourself. But there are other activities that might make you feel good and help you deal with life's everyday challenges. Activities like music, art, connecting with nature, worship or meditation, or reaching out to someone you trust, like a family member, coworker, friend, or spiritual support. I hope that each of you will feel empowered and encouraged to learn about it, talk about it, and explore ways to support Thrive throughout November and throughout the year. Participate in a Thrive event. Take time to explore Thrive 5 Plus. Learn about UBC resources and community resources. Reach out if you need help. Take care of yourself and one another. You see, UBC is its people, and together we can learn to thrive, even with the various challenges that we may face.